Well, I just did a steam test. Took it up to 60 PSI. And there is no wisping or leaks or anything right now. I have to uh, work on the safety valve so that it pops at around 60. Set for about 80 right now. But I've also included uh, the pressure gauge off my Stewart uh, boiler plant and I've put the small one on the Stewart boiler plant because this one will be easier to see when the video camera's on it and 12 o'clock is 50 psi so that's pretty easy to see the needle in 12 o'clock position and I've also added an additional deflector in the chimney here and it's increased the uh, and that's press fit in there but it's increased the uh, uh, burner efficiency and also focus the heat towards the back where the superheater is so I might have to replace the condenser it just might be too shallow that might be an issue so I'm going to have to fabricate something for that so that's going to take a few days I probably um, won't get to the pond because it's completely snow covered outside and I don't have a vehicle to get there so I have to go on the bus if I go so I don't want to go on the bus and slip in the snow and drop this thing so anyways, there you go. We're almost ready for a test in the tub again. And uh, with the pressure sealed, I think we're going to have consistent running and uh, lots of boosts of speed. Uh, it's going to come down to the uh, boiler, uh, how long that lasts. And I think around 7 to 10 minutes with uh, slow cruising and then a few speed runs would be probably a good result. So never expect too much from these things. If that was the case, we would have boilers that were bigger and we would actually be able to get in the boat. So let's uh, limit the hobby to a certain extent. This is one of the reasons I got into this is because of a 36 foot monk tri-cabin cruiser, which was only about $1,200. So beware. <laughs> See you later.